What's up, everybody? Join me today to see how you made this amazing pulled pork pot pie. First thing we need to do here is melt down two tablespoons of butter. Then we're gonna go ahead and add about one cup of chopped hair. Let that cook down for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to add one yellow onion and one clove of garlic. Then let that cook down for about two minutes and add half a cup of frozen beef. Go ahead and let the peas cook down for a few minutes. Now we can add in about a cup, maybe a little bit more of some pulled pork out of the freezer. And then here I'm going to add some white pearl onions. These have been blanched in boiling water for about a minute and then let cool. Just peeling off the outer skin real fast before putting them in. Then just let this go until the pulled pork has had time to, to thaw out. And then we'll add some more ingredients. Just make sure to stir this often so nothing burns at the bottom of the pan. I'm going to add about half a can of chicken stock. And then once this gets thicker, we'll add the rest of the can. Just let that boil down a bit. Now that that's been reduced by about half, we'll add the rest of the cannon of chicken stuff. And then again, let that reduce down. Now at about this point, you want to taste for seasoning. Add some salt and pepper if you need it. I have plenty on the pulled pork, so I don't have to worry about adding the extra here. Here I'm checking to see if it's coating the back of the spoon. It's still pretty runny. So we're going to do a cornstarch slurry to help speed things up and get it thickened up more. We'll get that mixed in to the pot pie here. And then we'll let it simmer for about five minutes to get all set up. Now we can cover with some pastry dough. Just roll that out on top, and then I'm going to push it down inside the pan. And then use the sides of the pan to cut off the excess dough.
Now we'll mix up some egg wash here. It's just one egg and a little bit of water. And we'll brush that on top. Go ahead and cut a few vent holes on top. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So we'll just bake it at 350 for about 15 minutes. After baking for 15 minutes and allowing it to cool for a few, go ahead and get a slice taken out. Try to do it without it falling apart. Did pretty good there. Just scoop out the rest of this goodness. Do a slow motion drizzle of some barbecue sauce. And there you have it. Oh, another quick, easy way to use up some leftover pulled pork. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.